It's a bunny rabbit. Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Here's a question. Maybe you're looking for a new pet, but you don't know what the right pet for you is. Well, owning a pet can be truly rewarding, each offering its own very unique set of benefits. Um, is it a bird? Is it a hamster? Is it possibly a very cuddly bunny in this case? In today's series of How to Choose the Right Pet for You, we look at the world of bunnies. And we've got our animal behaviorist, Helen Baston, now joining us with the coolest, cuddliest, sweetest <laughs> dude. <laughs> I want to say little guy, but he's quite a big yeah, guy, but he guy. is awesome. I had a little bit of a cuddle before um, we started. Nano, ladies Nano. and gentlemen, there yes. is Nano the Nano. rabbit. <laughs> um, he is beautiful. Um, what breed, what kind of, of rabbit? So um, they're, they're, they're called the big whites, but they, big whites. they have okay. these pale eyes and they get very much overlooked um, when, when getting a new rabbit. Um, you know, in rescue. It can be things. a bit unnerving, the red it's, eyes. It yeah. is, but they're actually the friendliest friendliest um, breed they are so chilled i mean look at him he's super cuddly as well what i yeah. love he's like my my pup who gets that like dreamy look when yeah. he gets cuddled you know <laughs> he's, he's got that vibe about him um take us into the realm of the bunny what 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 does the world of a rabbit look like oh they're, they're just amazing pets they're so they're so clever they have big personalities you can actually play games with them so you can play football they like to nudge things so you can like oh, roll he's got a, a good nudge nose absolutely nose. um they can do agility courses um, oh, you can cool. train them to do all sorts. They're so clever and they're so affectionate and they actually crave attention from people. Oh, wow. Mm. They really are awesome pets. Yeah, very nice. Um, and you, you kind of view them as a fringe pet. They're not yes. that popular. but they're, No, but they're um, actually fantastic pets. Oh, it's beautiful. So um, who would he be best suited for? I would imagine kind of the whole family can get, get on board. Yes, exactly. A, a family is the best thing. So not particularly for children because they do take a lot of care. Um, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot going on that you need to do for a rabbit. So a family is a good idea, so where the adults can sort of take care and 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 that sort of thing. But um, yeah, they just they just need a lot of space, like a lot of space. They're actually better suited for indoors. I was going to say because they are they are nature's great escape artist as well. Yes. Um, and that I would imagine. So when you talk about their living, do they need a lot of room to roam? Do you need yes. them in an enclosure and then let them out? How, how do you so, take care of a bunny? Yes. So if you're going to keep them indoors, then obviously they're they're fine and you can you can have the temperature right and that sort of thing. Because too much heat, too much cold, bad for them. Um, obviously. If, if they want to go outside, then you've got, you know, we some places have caracal, we've got birds of prey, even domestic cats can, maybe not this guy, but can carry yeah, off little, I've, I've, <laughs> little rabbits. He's a fool, so yeah. So you have to be very careful. So if this outdoor time it needs to be monitored, but indoor, they, they can just roam. I, I know a few people that just have them roaming around the house. You can litter train them, so they just go in their litter train and they don't oh sort of word. toilet in the house, yeah. That's crazy. Um, so how often and how do we feed our rabbit? Obviously, the, the old adage of carrots comes to mind. Yes, but I'm oh, guessing they, they love a carrot. Yeah, they, they love a carrot, but <laughs> how do you approach their, their feeding? So that they, they need hay 24-7, just like the, the guinea pigs we were talking about. Okay. Um, so it's literally 24-7. They need a good rabbit food, a good rabbit pellet. Um, and then, yeah, some vegetables, a bit of fruit. Again, no junk food, no carbs. They don't do well with carbs. Okay. High fibre diet they need. Okay, so, and you can treat them then with the, the carrots. Yes. Um, oh, man, he's so lovely and he keeps <laughs> his proper clock to me as well. He's just yeah, like yeah, sitting yeah. here and enjoying this conversation, <laughs> um, enjoying his moments in the sun. Nana, you beautiful boy. Um, any last tips of advice for someone wanting to, to own a rabbit? Or yeah, more? I, I Would think... you own one or are they social animals? So, yes, they can be. Um, um, Nano's got a girlfriend called Juliet. I know, she's yeah. a little shy. She had to come, she had to That's come for moral support. That's so but, sweet. Um, yeah, some <laughs> of them love co bunny company. Um, some of them get a bit funny with the, with the rabbits, so you just have to sort of gauge it. Um, but they just love human attention. Because in the wild, they can be quite territorial as mm, well. Yes, um, absolutely. Especially uh, the, the males. And, yeah. and with other animals, are they OK? With... Um, it, it, I would never leave them alone with other animals, but um, I was just talking to a lady backstage and she has tortoises and rabbits together, which is adorable. And um, ironic. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> um, and then um, I actually grew up and I had rabbits in the house with my cats. 
um, and that the rabbits actually bullied the cats. Cats more than so, you are. But I think it's just being very careful and introducing slowly and just, you know, being and, aware. And letting their, their personalities yeah. come out. But, I mean, Nano, you are the perfect poster boy for, for rabbits, for the big guys. Um, he is beautiful, he's cuddly and seems to have a great nature about him yes. as well. So. And he's, he's also been neutered. It's very important to get them uh, neutered and spayed because they, they breed like rabbits. <laughs> yeah. so, and then they are territorial and can get a bit grumpy. So they, they do fine under anaesthetic. Um, so it's really important to get them spayed and neutered. Okay. Um, to, well, as you should with all of your pets, is be thinking about that. Have a conscience about your pet ownership. But you, hey, you might be one of my favourites. I love the guinea pigs, <laughs> like the hamster, but the rabbit. I'm loving. <laughs> they're cute. They're cuddly. They seem to have amazing personalities and would definitely make great pets. But like any responsible pet owner, there are many aspects to consider before um, bringing a new pet into your home. So I would suggest go to um, a rescue environment if you can find a rabbit that has lost a home that needs a home and yours could be it.